Welcome to Yes Offense. Trigger warning, disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, this podcast will feature graphic language about sex, race, violence, and anything else that might make people uncomfortable. However, this is a comedy podcast, and everything and anything talked about on it should be viewed as an attempt at humor. Like, if you hear anything on this podcast you don't agree with or like, please just turn it off. No one on here is a politician or actually affecting the way you live. So if you genuinely have a problem with anything said on here, redirect your energy at a real issue going on in the real world. Now let's get into the show. We're rocking. The, um, yeah, I haven't changed them yet, and I don't think I will. My drops. Why would you change it from real talk? That is true. It is. It's just real talk. People love it. Are you an R&B fan? Yeah, I guess. I'd like whatever hits my ear right. You know what I mean? Why'd you ask? I I did. I consider R. Kelly R. Oh yeah, I'm a big Usher fan. I think Usher Usher can do no wrong for real. Like I love. I was more of a Tyrese fan myself, but I'm a little bit older than you, so I I used to watch TRL Mm, back in uh, the late '90s. Yeah, and you would always the guest host for Carson Daly. I'm really aging myself right here. Now you're fine. But Ty, <laughs> Ty, Ty Reese would guess those and always yeah. put his song number one. Oh, I always thought hilarious. that was the funniest shit that, ever. That's pretty funny, actually. That is. I was. Um, I think you were there even. I was at a mic recently, and it was a. Uh, it was an all black. It was a black room, and you, you know, um, these blacks. Shout out to that drop. Um, I didn't get the invite. I know, <laughs> but no, <laughs> I was there, and there were a bunch of women there, and I started being like, someone. Oh, Chris Warren mentioned like. Has anyone in here seen a Fast and Furious movie? And like everyone nodded, and I went up after him, and I was like, "You just asked a black audience if they've seen a Fast and Furious movie." Like they own every Tyrese Gibson <laughs> movie on DVD. And one woman looked up. I was like, "You're telling me you you don't you don't have waist deep on DVD?" And she was like, "She looked at me like I was an <laughs> asshole." And I was like, "Come on, that, that she, was, she, <laughs> she had a bootleg copy." Exactly. Of it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I was like. Oh, yeah, you were there because then I mentioned House on the Prairie. Oh, yeah, House on the Prairie. <laughs> I was like, sorry, I'm not referencing House on the Prairie. And everyone looked at me and I'm like, that's way too white for anyone yeah, to man. have fucking. God damn it, I sucked. That's where I was I'm right not good. before tonight. Dangles. Dangles. Shout that out to Dangles. Fun. Yeah, guys, um, as we're doing Yes Offense I got this week, uh, it's me and a solo guest, uh, my man. You should have been on a while ago too. I, I should have like. been. Yeah. Brian Glass. He's bad. You should. Everyone listening knows just by your voice, dude. Right? <laughs> At least the real ones. Know. I hate my voice. You shouldn't. You should embrace it. I'm surprised you don't have a whole five on. It that. sounds like half tarred. Is half it? Lift. It's none of it's intentional. It's just no. The no. Way I had a speech impediment when I was oh. younger, so they had to like take me out of class to go to speech lessons, which is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> you know, when you're in elementary <laughs> school, it's like. Yeah. Oh, the tart has to leave school to learn how to talk. I was about to say you can't. You can talk perfectly fine too. So you were probably like, "I'm fine." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, you mumble all your words. Yeah. You, you're not fine. <laughs> My cousin, um, he was like that. It's always a cousin. Yeah, but he he had a speech impediment. But as he grew older, we were kind of like, ah, you know, there's it's a little more, a little bit more. Yeah, <laughs> love him. I love him to death. <laughs> Wow, he's got a whole like is, Len- he, is he on the spectrum? He's he's a Lenny from Of Mice and Men. I oh, do. It's so funny mm. you say that. Dude. I was reading. Uh, have you ever read the things they carried? No, I didn't have to. That's why uh, they, well, uh, it was in my school, but okay. I wasn't forced. So, it's like yeah. a fiction about Vietnam, Vietnam War. Yeah, you yeah. might read in history. So I started reading it again this week. I don't remember any of it. So when you mentioned like Of Mice and Men, I know the name Lenny, but I don't remember the he story. He was the at big, all. the big. Um, so there was Tard, a big yeah. oaf, a big oaf, and then yeah. Lenny was like the smart kid who... Lenny and George. George is the smart one. Okay. George is the one who's like, Lenny, get, get away from there. Lenny, get over here. Lenny, <laughs> pick the... He's literally the, his whole I'm character. I'm just picturing like, the perfect like wrestling tag team. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you ever the see... The seven-footer who doesn't know how to talk on the mic and then, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know, Xbox or somebody. They uh they made us read that in high school, but first... Uh, you don't know how My Cement goes? I, I read it and I watched, mm. but I, I my memory is well, terrible. Well, I, they showed us the movie first before we watched, read the book. I don't know why this That's teacher stupid. did this. Yeah. I know. But it was a very good retelling, but we didn't know anything about the movie or the book. So when the book en- the movie ends, they shoot Lenny in the back of the head in like a fucking brook because he, he killed someone. Yeah, he kills this chick by accident because he, he hugged her too hard. Did he hug her too hard yeah. or was it like... No, 
Well, was it like rape and he had to? No, he he went to. She was she was she knew he was off and kept like playing games with him and like literally like leading him on. Not even he didn't even realize she was leading him on. She was just like being too affectionate towards uh-huh. him, and she was like, "Play with my hair." And he's like really good with. He's like really into uh, softness uh-huh. softness so when she gave her his hair he was like oh it's so soft and she's like let go of me and he was like stop yelling and he fucking grabbed her hair what to like keep her to stop t- to stop her from yelling and he cracked her neck and that's what happens and you know, you no know, no I don't, so then, I don't remember that at so all then man. They, must, they go on a lynch mob yeah, to get I should have gotten the spark notes for yeah and long. then <laughs> lenny and george go but to they a go brook. lynch mob was he a black guy no no but a lynch like a mob uh, yeah, forms yeah, yeah, where okay. they're like get it's like frankenstein type yeah, shit. Yeah. like get him and then him and George run to a, a a river, and they're like looking at the fucking river go by, and he's like, "Are we gonna be all right, George?" He's like, "Yeah, Lenny, just like look at the, you know, look over there." What, and George shoots, <laughs> him? shoots him in the back of the what head. The f- <laughs> yeah, what a terrible exactly. friend. <laughs> well, they were gonna kill him, and what? it's the thir- it's like the Dust Bowl. So if oh, they so were, 1930s? Yeah, yeah, he had nothing. He, no- he could have done just, something else. Yeah, <laughs> do a little like outsider, like dye his hair, bleach it with yeah. peroxide, and. There's a way out of that. Send too. him to the next town over. I mean, yeah, don't or just shoot your I was friend. About to say, run away with your boy. Yeah, too, you know, try to help him. Like help him bury the girl's body. I think they that was all out of the. It was too late. Uh, who was yeah. the odd man? We got a Steinbeck. Oh, he yeah. read um, the grapes. Yeah, grapes, grapes of wrath. wrath. I yeah, remember yeah. that one. It's a literary podcast. Oh uh, yeah, we're, we're right. Whoever thought <laughs> that the, the two lowbrow comics are talking no, no, about right? like. Too modern american literature <laughs> i know it's the fun stuff too. <laughs> Th- that's why i liked it though because i it, remember hmm? grapes of wrath that's the one where i don't know that one. Oh, yeah. you know, i don't okay. know that one i just remember there was a scene in, or not scene but uh in one of the chapters like towards the end there was a woman who oh, was pregnant she gave old, birth old man but there was no uh they yeah. didn't have food because it was a dust ball same period yeah so there was a grown-up and the girl who had just given birth, like, let the grown ups suck on her tits. Yes, heard about because this. Because of breast milk. Yeah. And that was the only food they had. Mm. That's, That's obviously right. my sick mind. That's the only thing I <laughs> right? remember. I, so, anyway, they, they sh- the teacher made us watch the movie. Uh-huh. And it, we didn't know. So, when he shoots him, I was like, what the fuck? Like in the middle of the <laughs> class, I was like, yo, are you serious? That's how it ends? <laughs> like, that's the end. They're like, yeah, that's the end. I'm like, they just, just shoots his retarded friend, and that's the end of the. That's it. That's so like two wrongs fucking, don't make a right. I know. Like you accidentally kill a. It's insane. A playful, affectionate woman, and then you shoot a, a retarded person. Re- yeah, and plus then it's they call them retarded. Yeah, they really. I mean, they're probably like this mongoloid. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. Steinbeck would have been uh, kicked off a of Twitter. If this yeah, was oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I uh, yeah, and, and you know what? No, um, nope. No people of color in the in the book, so you're right. Yeah, they, yeah, they, them back. they weren't part of the, <laughs> the part dust of the bowl dust bowl fun. in Oklahoma. Yeah. Who would want? Yeah, why the fuck? I don't. I don't. Know. The other one that we read uh, was Lord of the Flies. I read that too. I don't remember any. I like that one. Is just, that kind of like Hunger Games? Yeah, a little bit. Well, they get stranded on a fucking island, and they're like uh-huh. World War Two yeah, yeah, military yeah. boys, and then they just start fucking each other up. Dude, yeah. Well, yeah. we should. Give this podcast to high schoolers because they'll pass every <laughs> yeah every like, like quiz they have on like, all right, every tenth grader that's listening to this podcast yeah. you, you'll you'll get all ten books you read that year in the first <laughs> exactly. twenty minutes of this pod. Simon represents Jesus. Uh, Piggy <laughs> represents knowledge. We'll do. We'll go through it, dude. I I I actually love Lord of the Flies. But did, really was that a movie too? Yeah, I didn't really get into the movies, but yeah, that was I watched one. the Hunger Games, so it's like the modern version. Did you ever watch Battle Royale? The 007 movie? No. Battle Royale. That's what, it, what would... That's Casino Royale. Oh, yeah, that's I was what like, I'm thinking. Fuck? What's Battle Royale? Battle Royale is the Hunger Games before oh. the Hunger Games. And it, it's legit. Like, it's a bunch of... It's not Korean. I think it's... No, I Are there look. subtitles? It's cha- I think it's... Ja- yeah, it's Japanese. And a bunch of... Hey, get a, your producer. Can you look that up for <laughs> yeah, us? right. Battle Royale on Battle... I just want to know... I want to... For some reason, I just... Are you a movie nerd? Oh, fuck. You can look behind me, bro. Of course. I'm just looking at your... Oh, yeah. This is exactly what I Dork expected. Stuff. Yeah, you think so? It's just a lot of movie, cartoon. <laughs> yeah. All my references <laughs> yeah. on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and if you've ever seen me do a comedy show and you came to we, my we place... We are so, like, like, opposite. Oh, yeah. Like, we get along great, but... Yes. Our interests are not... Are polar. 
you polar got, opposite. You got like what World War Two memory? <laughs> like, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I um. So before you shit on any more no, stuff, no, it's just... it's fine. I, I, not shit. I just say yeah, yeah, comment on Battle it. Royale is the Hunger Games, but it it was made in like a decade before. I think even the books, and it's a Japanese movie where all the kids in the future, uh-huh. it's like the worst school they pick. They throw all those kids on an island, and they're like, oh. "You're all gonna. One of you makes it. The rest, you know, yeah, yeah. figure it out. You're, you, you know, one of you's gotta live. Uh-huh. And th- but it's not like the Hunger Games where they give them like a bow and arrow and like a knife. It's yeah, like yeah. one of them will get like an Uzi, and then the other one will get like a flashlight, and it's fucking insane. <laughs> it's it's they all get like one item. This sounds like Hill House High School right here. It's awesome. Dude. <laughs> I fucking love that movie. I, I, I've Is there subtitles? Since. Yeah, I'm I think too, I'm too dumb for that. I think there's dumb. You're one of those where you're yeah, like, I, I can't, can't. I can't. I love it. Dude. I can't multitask. I can only watch them during the day. I can't watch foreign movies at night because I, I nod off trying to oh, read. Oh, funny. I'm actually, I hate daytime. So I love, <laughs> <laughs> I, lo- I only go to movie theaters at like 10 a.m. Because oh. then it feels like nighttime. Mm. And plus there's nobody there. <laughs> it is true. I went, I actually went to the movies today. Uh, do you like horror movies? No, I hate horror. Like I don't like to be scared. That makes sense. What horror movie? Was I went saw out? Trick or Treat. And it's not a, it's like an older horror movie, but they re-release it That's in the cool. theaters on Halloween. It's a horror anthology. Really fucking good. You don't like, so you don't like, um. The last, I'll tell you, the last horror movie I saw uh, was probably Blair Witch Project. Wow, that's what a, was it, like 20 years yeah, ago? Yeah, that's a classic now. And I'm so, I'm so, do- I thought that was real. Everyone did at the time. Because like, they were at, a, the actors were at a award show. Yeah. I was with my friend Dan watching it, like. I thought that guy died. <laughs> those girls died in them. He's like, you, yeah. no, no, those were actors. You, you that was idiot. that was one of the first. Um, and I got like motion sickness because of the. Yeah. Um, but like, I enjoyed it. That was one of the first um, like viral campaigns that actually worked behind a movie. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, they were, yeah, like, yeah. Everyone died, and then uh-huh. they had to like prove that they it was didn't. always like pre-social media, exactly. like how to exactly. hype up. I remember hearing it was real when I was younger, and. Also, people explaining to me, some people being like, because they thought it was real, it's scary. And then when you found out it wasn't, they're like, that is the most bullshit fucking movie. Yeah, that's me. That's me. (laughs) (laughs) The ending, I've looked up, like, I've I've actually never watched it all the way through. I just know the ending Uh and stuff, and I I hate it. Do you have, have you written a horror script? Mm, you, no, I'm writing something now that you All could right. say is horror, though. It's a Jesus. Right. I'm not writing a script. Person. But you have an idea in your Oh, head. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I could see that from you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I've been really into horror lately. I'm on a whole fucking... Is that just because of oh, the season? It's October? Or yeah. Like, I, I know I, like a, or, uh, a lot of directors, they start with horror films. They do. Because they're like, cheaper to make mm-hmm. and if something you, with the lighting. If you make a... Horror movies are cheap to make, and they make the most profit. So if you oh, make is that a true, yep, yep, because oh, okay. they like people want people go to see them. They make a lot like at, and they're also sequel prone. It's all that stuff. It's more just because you can make them for so little that whatever you make will be. It's almost yeah, yeah. Because there's so like Halloween. The first Halloween was like one of the cheapest horror movies ever made, and like look at that. That's like yeah, even I, I know that under a million dollars. I think under a half a million. Uh-huh. Like it's insane, and now it's like you know a franchise. Yeah, you need a half a million to get a the light to get like a really? podcast yeah, going. No. Now you need like a half million. Please, dollars. Please, somebody give me a half million to get this. Dude, you got a, a poster of an Animal House behind you. Yeah, <laughs> you watched that recently? I used to have the VHS tape. I love it. Right, so you know a VHS tape. You yeah. like, you got to rewind it to beginning. Yeah, right? yeah. If you don't rewind it. It's wherever you, yeah. you had it. So yeah. there are a couple of scenes where like they're nude, <laughs> the, the, yeah. the pillow fight scene. Yeah, yeah. So I would save it at that scene, and then like every weekend I'd like I'd, I'd, I'd yank it to that yeah, scene and then rewind it. Uh huh. So if anyone put it in, they're like mm. they would be. I'd always be paranoid that like my dad or my mom <laughs> would would put that movie on and I'd be and they'd catch me. Dude, so I have I don't want to reveal too much to people because <laughs> I've shared Netflix accounts with certain people. But there's a certain movie on Netflix. That has a really awesome sex scene in it that I'll watch from time to time, 
but I've watched it on other people's accounts and I've had to like <laughs> every time I finish I'll go and fast forward <laughs> through a part of the movie <laughs> just in case <laughs> just in case they come on and are like oh this, what were they who was watching they click on it and it's like <laughs> whose account <laughs> it's like <laughs> Alex comedian. exactly who the fuck <laughs> of course but they know they're like who has my what the fuck and like why is it <laughs> jump up from the couch like I don't want to be on this couch exactly, exactly. <laughs> or just being like oh no like you have a window into my mind but there is one uh movie that i also do that too but it's it's in now times so it's streaming it doesn't there's also that does netflix have nudity oh yeah yeah they have like rated r every everything on that's rated r you were saying have you watched animal house recently uh not recently but like i've seen i i that was one of my favorite movies growing up i'm not saying it's bad no no yeah I, i love it there's just a few parts that like some parts you can excuse me and like yo I don't that who cares it's that offensive there's a few parts in that where I'm oh, like oh yeah like Jesus the, Christ. the the rape scene yeah. with the drug well he isn't yeah. yeah technically he has the a little bit of a Bill Cosby <laughs> vibe too <laughs> yo <laughs> he well because he doesn't rape her he um he has a la- not lapse in ju- what is it like the that he literally has an angel and a Oh, devil yeah, on the yeah, shoulder yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally yeah, yeah. pop up and yeah, yeah. one of them's like fucker and the other one's like don't do it <laughs> <laughs> it is fucking wild and he chooses to not do it but the fact that they have that as a scene is like holy fucking yeah, shit yeah. i know you can't like blame the victim yeah but like she did stuff her bra she did and she also admits later when they again hang i out, don't blame the victim <laughs> exactly, no. when they're hanging out and he's like hey sorry about i like kind of took it you know i wasn't trying to but i like took advantage of you she's like oh don't worry I, you she's like i haven't been completely honest with you either and he's like about what and she's like i'm only 14 oh that's right that's right <laughs> <laughs> yo one of the funniest scenes the look he gives is <laughs> and then when they meet up later, it's like the uh, the mayor's daughter, and she's like, oh, "Hey, that's dad. Right, the mayor's daughter." She's like, "Hey, dad, this is Kenny. Who was that? The boy who molested me last <laughs> month. <laughs> was that Flounder? Was he the guy? No, no, it's, was that uh, the other? His friend. Okay, yeah. And then there's obviously, um, what's his fucking name? Bluto. Who plays Bluto? I know the name. I don't know the like the actor. Blue sheet. Blue sheet. Blue, oh, literally, oh, blue literally sheet. goes to the fucking <laughs> peeping toms. Everyone. <laughs> that one's great. But that's the scene. I yeah. Well, Deep, that's probably like I shouldn't admit. It. I used to jerk off to a that's, scene. That w- that they're consensually being filmed in that movie. Okay. The scene has nothing. So there. I'm in the right. You are the director and the the yeah the the character in the movie and the director portraying that scene is normal you could argue is the bad in person. national lampoon's defense though yeah. i mean you look at any comedy yeah. from dude the pre-2000s pretty dude american pie they film the chick getting naked in a room and they send it to all their boys right right yep. i'll tell you what do american pie the second one mm-hmm. I think that's one of the best sequels. Yeah, solid flick. Of all sequels of any film. I like that one. The I like lesbians. the second. Yeah. I'm not, and I'm not even a lesbian. Neither do I. I just like that. that I just like the, I just like the vibe of just getting a beach house with your boys. Hell and yeah. Yeah. Throwing footballs and cake parties and. Oh, the other scene in Animal House. Um, this one, they go to the black club. And they're all like hanging oh, out. Otis and. Uh, Otis stay in the nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah hell yeah. And. It's this is actually genuinely one where I'm like, oh, that's I don't know how you explain this one away, but they're literally like feels like that mic you were at last week. (laughs) 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 I got to hit it. I don't care if it's me and Brian Glass, you guys, our our other guests canceled. And, you know, that's not nothing I can do about it. Um, There's this. So the the that dude we were talking about was talking to another chick at the bar and they're all hanging there. It's him and the white chick that they're on the date with and the music's really loud and he's like what are you studying and she's like what and he goes what's your major and she goes primitive cultures <laughs> and, <laughs> and right when she says that it cuts to otis <laughs> day being like "Ooh, uh, 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 oh <laughs> and you're like oh this is just fucking oh man come on and it takes place i think in the 50s or like early 60s so yeah it actually like you know, makes sense, but you're like, God damn, the ed- even the editing is racist. <laughs> this is not fucking cool, man. <laughs> Two white guys laughing about. Hey, man, what, what are you gonna do? What can you do, man? I there's listen. There's things I always say. This there's like they 
There's things that are funny. They're, they're fucked up, but it's funny in the moment. That's like, what funny is. Yeah, I it's can't. The fucked up. I like things that are fu- like I like when I he- see an altercation between two people that's uh-huh. just verbal, and it gets very abusive. Like when they're like, "You fucking cock sucking piece of <laughs> shit!" It's like in a stop and shop. Like I watch and I I get happy. I huh? you know like when do, it, do you watch World Star every morning? No, you go on? no. I actually so I don't watch people like fight fight, but I, I don't though. But uh-huh. I, I used to. I used to be like that. I just. It I, I used I used to like fighting, <laughs> yeah. But then I got Invisalign a couple years ago, oh, and I'm yeah. like, dude, you don't fuck up your teeth, man. Yeah. That's expensive, <laughs> man. That's, that's like four grand right there. See, I don't mind fights when it's a fight, but I've seen too many videos of people getting jumped. Where oh, I'm like, I don't I'm like terrified. Of. Yeah, dude. And honestly, yo, you know what's the worst? It's when it's like chicks. When like two chicks fuck up like one chick and they're oh, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. brutal. I'm like, I yeah, can't. Yeah, because they kick. They, they kick they, when the well, person's dude, on the ground. They yank them around by their by hair, the hair while the other one hits them. That's why I shave my head. That's yeah. <laughs> I don't fuck with. I don't. I don't want to get my hair. Damn. Pulled. Don't want to get my hair pulled in a. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't. Public high school. I can't watch that shit. Um, no, you like seeing altercations. I like seeing like people. You can, like if you're in. In public, Live, like yeah, I like seeing there. people argue, and I do what like monkeys do when they see stuff. Where I like I move around the area, oh, like yeah. I'll watch and I'll move around and I'll like hit other people and be like, "Look at this! Look, look!" Oh, I, no, no, I, just, I don't really do that. But <laughs> <laughs> I, especially if there is like um, I've definitely done that at concerts and stuff when there's fights, but altercations, yeah, I I like. Dude, I don't like. Con- I have to admit, I don't really go to concerts anymore because I hate uh, live yeah. music, mm. but. I saw some people get like, really messed up. Same. Real, and like, I, I used to enjoy it, but now I'm, now oh, I'm we're uh, cooking. I've seen people in. Co- I, I want you to, you know, who French Montana is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, yeah. I honestly did not expect you to know who French Montana. Like I don't is. listen to music, but yeah. I know. I know. He. I went to. Well, I went to one of his concerts, and there were two, not fights, brawls that broke out. Two. And then on the third one, they cut. I think there was a third one. They were like, "We're done." <laughs> End of concert. <laughs> Thirty minutes into the concert, he just stopped it. And there, these were Had like Montana gone on stage yet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, okay. he, it was wild, dude. Like brawls, like dudes, like the circle cleared. Two dudes were fighting, and then like three other dudes came in fighting, and then they had to break it. It was insane, dude. Dude, dude his concert, did they have mosh pits? Or was it no, just Red straight? Man and Method Man. I went to them and Red Man, my friend, my boy Chris Barnett. If he's listening, he can attest to this. But he literally Red Man in the audience because we were smoking a lot. Was like, I want you all to mosh to this one, white people. And he pointed at me. It was like, <laughs> you, I'm talking to you. And I had a blunt in my mouth and I just looked at him and shook my head. I was like, I'm not moshing right now, dude. I can't. And uh, they did. They mosh, but it, it's a friendly mosh at hip hop concerts. You can't get too uh-huh. like. <laughs> White people concerts, you yeah, can get dangerous. wild. But it also, there's like there's a homoerotic something going on there, too. Uh, I've been yeah. in them, and I've come out and been like, I feel kind of gay now. Like, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I was just at a mosh pit. And, and I got news for you. That means you're gay. That's what I think. Yeah, man, gay. <laughs> but yeah, I've done it. Yeah, I used to go to punk. <laughs> I used to go to punk shows, like high school or early college. And I used to go with just some guys at my hockey school's hockey team. Oh, yeah? They they just went to fuck people. I'll say they're hockey players. Yeah, they just they didn't even like the music. They just knew there was a mosh pit <laughs> and it was kind of legal to throw punches. But there is like a, a camaraderie. Yeah, oh, like if someone falls down, pick them up, get them up. And if someone's fucking people up, uh-huh. they usually get fucked up. Yeah, like yeah. if someone's punching people, you you eventually get jumped. Yeah, but yeah. if if you're just shoving people, that's what you're supposed to do: shove, bounce flail but you do not start hitting people they, you also don't kick people uh, that and then there's is the really weird who do you think where they swirl their arm yep, yep. helicopter thing you avoid and, them if you get hit it's kind of on you like uh-huh. you know, they kind of like give, you see them coming they give you room yeah and then they do it and then they flail and it's uh-huh. like all right avoid him avoid him. <laughs> i've always en- i've always uh respected it's almost the like the ufc weight class division two in, in mosh pitch where you know you, you you go at someone your own size. Yeah, yeah, Pew, yeah. I don't. It, like I said, it is kind of like homoerotic too, where like they they want to fuck you up, but once you're down, they're like, "Oh, help you up, buddy." Yeah, yeah. and they pat you, yeah, yeah. and they shove you again. Like, queer, uh-huh. get away from me! It's literally it, it don't, the homo weird. stuff always happens in the bathroom <laughs> afterwards. Yeah, like when everyone's like, "You were shoving me." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, mm. and they're both like <laughs> getting tissues yeah, for yeah. like bloody nose and eye and yeah. 
the guys are so stupid, man. What? Mm. That's what we do for fun. We just punch each other and mosh yeah, pitch. And I guess. I don't know why. It's just testosterone. Actually, I, well, have you been to those? Sh- have you ever been to those shows and you just feel it too, though, when they start playing crazy shit? And mm-hmm. You're like, I you just, get why people want to fight right now. You feel the energy. It's it's, it's white uh, boy shit too. Yeah, straight yeah. up, like no other uh, white burp <laughs> anger. <laughs> yeah. Well, people want to say like, oh, white people don't have culture. It's like go to one of those fucking shows. Tell us we don't have <laughs> fucking culture. That shit is. You look around. You're like, this is insane. Like, it is. It is one of those things too, where like, unless you're there, you don't get it. Like, I. I'm always you see videos of it and you're like that looks weird and I wouldn't do that but then you go there and you're like this is like this looks like so much fun <laughs> I just yeah. want to go there yeah, and show like, people that's fun yeah but then I'll see like videos on Twitter of like NFL games where there's these overweight guys in jerseys are fighting in the stands like that's no, not fun not for me no. like that's the exact opposite energy of like, yeah. a concert exactly fight. even I was about to say I'll go even the further mile when you see like dudes in the stands objectively having fun and i'm like that looks terrible when they're just like painted i'm like you just no, it looks kind of good. that's also you know what it's the opposite level of fun same level of gay <laughs> <laughs> like you and your shirt you and your bros painted each other and yelled at a camera like yeah, some, you're yelling like at sluts. other men yes they wearing exactly like a and jersey, they don't care about you those other men don't tight care pants about you. Yeah. In a stadium with fifty thousand, probably yeah. forty thousand are are uh, have penises of mm-hmm, some sort. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're a sports guy too, right? I am. Yeah, yeah I'm, I don't, I'm a little. Dude, homo I, I can't even. I can't do it. Do you didn't play any? I played soccer growing oh, that's up. That's not. A sport. I know, I'm, especially over here, dude. I guess it is now, but like back in the day, it was. Dude, it's not definitely not over here. I did some basketball well, I didn't too. Play, like I was on. JV basketball, mm-hmm. so like I, I sat the bench, but I got, I, I can't, got to dress up. I, I'm so bad at. I still <laughs> shoot the ball in basketball, like two handed. Yeah, it, like Where it goes. You push it. I push it. I don't, <laughs> yeah, dude, I look like a fucking tard. I'm not a fan. Oh, I meant to bring that up earlier too. It's it's fine. Do you you don't watch the slashers? Do you like the big ones like Michael Myers, Freddy, um, Jason? I've seen like scenes, but not you know the whole movie. things are. Do you know? Do you know those big three? You know the slashers. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what they're like origins and stuff. No, I don't. I was thinking about this today. I don't know why, but like okay. Michael. So like the big three is like Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy, and everyone always solves on Jason. And I think I figured out why. It's kind of silly, but it's like Michael Myers, child killer, grows up insane, kills people. Uh-huh. That's his origin. Uh Freddy Krueger, pedophile. Invade your dreams. Oh, he was a pedophile? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, the whole thing is, like, in the original, he just killed the kids, and then they sort of made him a pedophile that, that wasn't in the newer ones. That was enough. Like, yeah. gotta- well, in the new one, they made him, they alluded uh, extremely hard that he was a pedophile, and then people have just kind of now, re- <laughs> as of late, have been like, I mean, if he was killing the kids... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, what? You don't just Seriously, kill kids. It's, like, it's not enough to, to kill kids anymore, like Jeffrey yeah. Dahmer. And you got, he didn't you just know, kill them either, though. Or you got like, yeah. Uh, what's that called when you have sex with dead people? Necrophilia. It's necrophilia. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and, exactly. Cool guy is what we're saying. Yeah. I mean, cool hang. <laughs> <laughs> probably has drugs. Dude, I was going to say. Probably for, has. For, yeah. No, no doubt. Before we get to the big three, dude, Dahmer. I'm working on a bit about this. Dahmer, besides... Killing people? Cool dude. Dude, I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> no lie. Alex, I didn't know who Dahmer was till yeah. about three weeks ago. I thought he was a politician. Really? Because there were comics... Because a bunch of comics have been telling jokes about it. Yeah. yeah. And since it's been a election yeah. politics season, so I thought it was a politician did something crazy. Yeah. So then I went on Netflix and I saw it was Dahmer. like number one. Yeah. Like, oh, he's a, a serial, serial killer. killer. Oh, yeah, dude. He, he tried to turn people into zombies and... You know all that he was like a like this is my whole thing with did Dahmer. you know who he was yeah though? oh yeah, like yeah. i'm a serial story. killer I, i'm not like a i love serial killers yeah, yeah, but i just know. know enough you're hip. yeah you're hip, I'm to, hip the game. to them yeah i i like the well, uh, well, yeah, was he 70s early 80s 90s oh he was 90s he, he killed his first person in the 70s killed a bunch in the 80s got caught in the 90s oh. early 90s so like he, was doing, he was one I he think. was in a, the killing cannibalism game for two decades oh yeah I don't know cannibalism. 
the whole time. I thought that, he, he what that thing like he was eating. I Not only, his first one. I only maybe. watched the first two episodes. I'm like, that's yeah. That's he does. For he me. eventually does eat them, but yeah, he didn't start eating them. Uh, oh, from what okay. the from what it shows, who knows, dude? He was he did a lot. He, All I know is. If you have a, a, a severed head in yeah. your refrigerator, like yeah. don't let the cops in your apartment. Yeah, yeah. Or if you just have not even, you know, that wasn't even the thing. They, they weren't even in the fridge. It's like if you have blood stains, a pool of blood on your floor, just don't uh-huh. let them in. It, it, or if you do stuff like that, put a <laughs> put a sheet over your bed. You yeah. Know, if you're gonna have another gentleman in your, put those uh, photographs speaking, in a safe. Speaking of gay, like, yeah. Did you have you watched the oh, series? Yeah. yeah. The first episode where the, the he brings the guy home from the yeah. bar and the guy's okay. dancing, like, yeah, that guy's kind of hot. Yes, I agree. The good this, dancer, so, good. I'm glad you brought background up. dancer, maybe for like yeah. Janet Jackson or mm-hmm. I don't know. I was gonna say Bad Bunny, Bad one Bunny, okay, one of the yeah, gays. Yeah. Now French Montana, maybe French Montana. Yeah. Have him on French Montana. He, he can stop the brawls from happening. Everyone would be like, "What the fuck's going on?" <laughs> like he pulls, like Jeffrey pulled. No, that, that, so this is the thing, dude. <laughs> imagine. More than I ever have. Dude, so I'm Jeff's a dude, obviously. But imagine you meet a chick at a bar and then she brings you back to her apartment and she's just pounding beers and you're like, What are we gonna do? And she's like, We're gonna watch The Exorcist Three and then do whatever. I that's my yeah. ideal date. Oh really? <laughs> that's like my <laughs> ideal <laughs> That's what I want, dude. Like I'd be like Damn slots. I'd be so happy <laughs> if I went back to it. I mean the apartment aside, like if there was blood and shit everywhere, I'd be like, I'm not hanging out with you, you nutty bitch. But everything else, that's what I'm saying. Everything else besides murder, he's like, that's an ideal hang. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got drugs. And you have a mattress in your apartment I, I without. Do. On the floor. Yeah, yeah, on the floor. So yeah. you're. I'm, I'm halfway See, there, I don't bro. like horror films. I'd be like, <laughs> be like, listen, dude, you have a swastika I, tattoo? I'm cool. <laughs> but I'm not watching horror films with you. Exactly, dude. I. The Exorcist 3, that's the thing in the movie. I turned, I was watching this with my lady friend. I was like, that's actually one of the best horror movie sequels. Not bad choice. (laughs) I'm literally like, this is the, it's better than the, I like The Exorcist 3 more than the original Exorcist. How many of them are there? uh, There's, I think there's four, maybe five, maybe five. I could be wrong. There's a TV show too, Uh but definitely four because the beginning came out. That one sucked. Second one also sucked. Third one, my favorite. What about the one with the clown? It? It? Do you like that? Because I, I, yes. I, I have a big fear of clowns. I I think It, that the original with Tim Curry is great. Yeah, I think yeah. the new one, the first half is good with Scarzard. The part one's good. Second half, okay. part two sucks. I think, though, if, you like, if you're like, if you terrified of clowns, you should watch the movie Clown, which is way uh, better. Won't you won't watch them? them? No, no, because I was like at, I, my parents brought me to like a circus when I was oh. like six or seven, and a clown snuck up behind me. That'll do he it. thought that'd be funny, yeah. and um, now I have a crippling. What did he of, do? Was he like, Aah! yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. A six-year-old kid, just being an adult doing that, and then you had the face pain, and yeah, that. But you have a big. I got him on my shirt, on Pennywise your, on my shirt. Sorry, in your basement. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Are we in a horror There's film a cloud right now? Just pops up behind you. <laughs> No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that too. I actually, I don't have a fear of clowns. I completely understand people's fear of clowns, though. Oh like, yeah, totally. It's it, if you take away any part of it that's humorous or funny uh-huh. or kind, it's terrifying. To be honest, if you see a clown in any other setting, it's weird. Oh like, yeah, the fuck is it, going it, on? Your street outside is pretty dark. If yeah. there was a clown walking, like other than Halloween, that'd be. I would just be like, yo, you better... St-. I would just start yelling at them. Like, you stay the fuck over there. Because if you start mm-hmm. coming, I would just start running. I don't play around. Horror I'd movie fetal shit. position. I am not a fighter. I'd- One time, my mom uh, came home. Yeah. And uh, when I was living with her, because I don't now. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> One time, my mom Wish came I home. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Gives a shit to her comics. Up and coming. Suck one. Um, my mom <laughs> one time she went out, she was out for the night and I thought she was she told me she wasn't coming home for a while and I'm just chilling in my basement nice joking and, it yep you know it but she came home I guess I didn't know it was her though that's the thing she came home way sooner but I the way the she came in and was running around the upstairs. I thought someone just broke in because I was like there's no why the fuck would she be home so I scooped up my dog. <laughs> 
<laughs> when I was down here, and we literally like I ran into the neighbor's yard and called the cops, <laughs> and was like, I think there's something. And I snuck around and saw it was my mom's car, but I was like genuinely uh, terrified. Did the cops show up? No, no, they were like, you have to. They're like, you have to confirm if you want to hang up the phone. I was like, oh, never mind. They're like, can you confirm? And I just did all that, and that was fine. Uh, but I was genuinely, ter- I like l- picked my dog up and like carried him to the next yard because <laughs> I was like, I don't know who the fuck's in the house. I was really hot. Good dog owner. Good dog owner. <laughs> I know he couldn't walk right at the time. That's how long ago this was. He's dead. Do you ever do a thing as a kid where like you order ten pizzas to your neighbor's house? No. Oh, I did that one time. What did they? What was? <laughs> what did they do? Like different ones? We were like, yeah, like ten, ten pizzas. The big ones? Yeah, just like ten plain or sausage pizzas. And they just to my neighbor, them. and a pizza guy came, and we were in like the window laughing. <laughs> <laughs> did they? Did they pay for them? Or they, I don't. You just I don't really remember them. what happened. But we're like, who's paying? You came. You came. Well, so that's the thing that would uh, annoy. Like I'd be confused. It's like, do they have to pay, or does the pizza place just? How do they not? confirm that you know what i mean like yeah you have to I pay for this on a credit card. they made 10 pizzas that's because i worked at a pizza place if it's sausage that's easily like 150 dollars. Uh-huh. it has to be 10 uh-huh. 10 unless you had a deal yeah, yeah that's you know, looking back that's actually was a terrible thing to do <laughs> <laughs> no, <it's hilarious>, dude. <laughs> but as like a 10 year old that's the funniest thing so like if i was a neighbor i'd just be like hey yeah. I'll pay for one. I'll take one, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and you can take nine back. <laughs> Since you already got them here. Yeah. I um, see is working at a pizza place. That never happened. Was it a local place, or they yeah. wanted a chain? I'd never work at a chain. Nice. Fuck. Nice. Fuck, fuck, fuck capitalism. Fuck the Republicans. Fun fact. Um, Ish Gupta. Shout out to Ish Gupta. He... This could be why, too, we, I don't hang out with these people anymore. <laughs> but Ish, oh, you're not boys with him anymore? No, not him. Not him. Sorry. Oh. He, 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 Ish Friend of the show, love Ish Gupta. Shout out to Ish Gupta. Known pedophile sympathizer. Anyway, moving on. Just, just kidding. Just, just kidding. Just <laughs> just <laughs> Jesus, I didn't just, have to say any of that. One time. He paid his rent. He, <laughs> oh, yeah, because we had the, <laughs> God damn it. Ish is not that at all. I'm joking. I'm joking, everyone. Um, a lot of pedophilia talk on this, this yeah, one. Yeah, it happens. It ha- it's a comedy pod. Yeah, We're just, comedians. We're fascinated with those yeah, psychos. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. I get into them. So Ish one time um, invited me to his friend's uh, friend's house, girl, lady friend, not his lady friend, but with Eiffel, friends. Eiffel Tower. No, uh, you know I, you know I wouldn't do that with my good friend. You know what I mean? I'd do that with like a. I, I don't even think I'd do that to be honest. I'm not, it's not for me. Yeah, it's not my personally. thing either. I mean, I'd do it, but it's not my thing yeah. either. Damn sluts! It's not for me. Um, Ish invited me to a his friend's get together. And when I showed, I'd known these people, but when I showed up, they had Domino's boxes like <laughs> on the counter, and I literally walked in. It was like, "What the? Who the fuck ordered this?" And they're like, "We did." And I was like, "You should all be fucking ashamed, you fucking losers. We live in Connecticut, and you're ordering Domino's." And they're like, "Yeah, man, it's just Domino's." And I went on like a rant for like way longer. There's than a legit like every town in Connecticut has three good Italian pizza joints. It's true. But it's all. It's also like, why the fuck would you order Domino's? I'm like, it's open later. Yada yada. And I, was, I like Googled and I pulled up. I'm, I might. I might be exaggerating, but I'm pretty sure I Googled and was like, all these are open right now and they're better. <laughs> like, <laughs> I went off, and yeah. Everyone, Real talk though, I don't hate Domino's. I'll eat a little. I don't like that. I'll eat a little just extra cheese Domino's. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. You're not allowed back on the pod. Well, hey, man, you know, at least I show up. <laughs> that, is true. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Yo, going back to Jeffrey Dahmer, like, yes. what about the yes. smell? Like, you go into a party. Like, I have to go back to the big three after that, too. Sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll run we're got, to We're that. good. We're, we're cooking, around. bro. We're, but you go. <laughs> this is great. You go to a, a lady's place. Yes. Because you're a uh, hetero. Yes. And you're like, saying, but see, I took out the killing in that scene. Oh, no, just like yeah. you go to a oh, yeah. first. Cat. It smells like cat. Yeah, or just like a stank smell. like Puss. Bad puss. <laughs> Not even like just like a detached arm or okay. something like, right. you know, like severed. So like she's blood. A, okay. You still stay? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think that's the thing that would turn me off the most. Like, well, it smells like bad meat. Yeah, like but I'm, what the fuck is going on in your? I'm like, smells we're everything. Here. Yeah, we're not hanging out in here. I've never had that either. I, usually, the ladies' places I go to are very clean. Yeah, yeah. I, I take note of that when I go there. I uh-huh. go. 
I look around. I look at the bathroom. Even if the bed's unmade, like that's a turn off for me. Mm, I agree. Like I, I'm not walking away. Right. I agree. But I'm, I'm making a mental note. Mental like, note. Uh, My boy, um, Kevin. Uh, wow. Kevin fucking wow! I can't remember his. F- He's my boy. Fitzgerald, I love him, dude. Kevin Perry, R.I.P. He's dead. Shout R. out R. to him. Kev. He's a great dude. Um, he pointed that out. Serial um, killer got him? No, no, uh, just a vehicular accident. Uh, R.I.P. All right, great guy. Um, he pointed that out. He's like, if you go over to a chick's house and her bathroom's gross, her pussy's all fucked. Not good. Huh. I also, he also, and I, he and I both made the correlation, the same thing with the feet. If a chick has nasty feet, everything else is, nope. Yeah, I I, uh, I kind of agree with that. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's 100%. Mm-hmm. It's not. That, but, I'm sure uh, it's not. But, they, you know. My, my, damn, sluts. Gotta got do it. If a lady, <laughs> if, same thing with men, too. Like, oh, guys yeah, have, yeah, like, yeah. long Guys who have long fingernails are a little, like, yeah. like not, like. It's cool yeah. that the black men seem to have long fingernails for some reason. You mean so black I'm cool chicks? With that. No, like men. Men? Yeah. Long? Black guys have like longer <clears throat> fingernails. You ever you notice mean, that? No. I'm going to I'm gonna look into this. Yeah, just pay attention. These blacks. Hey, man. You learned something. <laughs> but anyway, like, like a white guy with long fingernails, yeah. like something. Not, not, unless he does guitar. I'm and keeping, even then. I'm keeping my distance. Yeah. Even if he does guitar shit, mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck off, you weirdo. Yeah. yeah but, but a lady is... Uh, the, yes, the hygiene. The I rest agree. Of the hygiene. Except, you know what terrifies me, and I've, I asked a woman about this um, recently. Is um, condoms? No. <laughs> <laughs> the girls with like the long nails. It's like oh. that is a huge turnoff oh. for like the the long that, ones. That that, that doesn't that, that's she's a boss, right? But it's also it just Type dis- a, what disturbs me. Is she's what, telling you what to do. True. I kind of like that. But when I see the long, I mean long nails, like the ratchet, uh-huh. like, like the yeah. fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean long though, like where they, they're they can't noticeable. Type, they have yes. To type with like How the, do you wipe your ass? Ooh, that bothers me. I genuinely, I meant to ask a woman that recently, but she was. I, was just, I think she was Joey Buddha's sister. I did not feel. Comfortable, you know, have an in front of, of combo. In, especially. Well, not only is it his sister, she was right there in front of him. So that'd be, I feel like it'd be mm-hmm. rude. So How shout out to Joey she? Buddha. She's an adult. Okay, but still, it's okay. you know, I'm not. Yeah. You don't want to be hey, asking like a 14 year old with long hair. That's, you know, you don't. You yeah. don't. Again, back to pet feeling stuff. Yeah, it happens. Anyway, that that I, uh, bothers me. I the think, nail shit. I think. Um, Who's a Jeffrey Epstein mm-hmm. accomplice who just got in prison? Just Lane. She had the long nails. Yeah, yeah. She used to be in prison. She is in prison. Now. Oh, is she? Yeah, she grew her hair out. She's got nice rack. Tits. She's got a nice rack. You know so what? does Real talk. So does uh, Nancy Pelosi. <sighs> yeah, I don't care for politicians. I mean, neither, hot. but I just know she had. None of them are that. When people say like AOC's hot, I'm like, I've. Sure, eh, for eh. maybe for a politician, like I fucked hotter chicks than AOC, like I, without okay, a doubt. Good for you, Alex. without good, a doubt. Good for you, Alex. I've I, seen some of your talent. Damn, I've seen sluts. some. Of, you have. Right? I've seen some of the talent you bring around. Right. You probably, <laughs> of all the comics I know, you probably do better than most. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. You're I welcome. Remember, I remember that one time. <laughs> I remember that one time. I was like, not that I, the bar is very high, but you do no, better no. than most. I remember that one time I was dating a chick and she was really cute. This is a while back. This is a while back, but I remember I was taught you were like, she's really cute. And I pulled you aside. I was like, dude, she ate my butt. And oh, like, I remember that. <laughs> that was at the elbow room. That girl was hot. And you were like, no way. And I was like, you wouldn't think so, right? <laughs> yeah, she had such a, like a wholesome image to she, her. She really, she ruled. Uh, you know, she, but she, she actually How'd on that, that level up? ruled. No, she fucked it up. She's actually a really genuinely nutty broad. But, oh, uh, could I have her contact after this? Yeah, yeah, sure, <laughs> dude. <laughs> you want to deal with a psycho? But no, she was good person. I get it. Just a nut. You know what I mean? Like a real fucking. I've been there. You know, you know, when you meet someone who you're like, oh, you're, you're you think they're cool, and then they get mad at you about they do something really fucked up, and you're like. Whatever, you know, Uh I'll try to see past it. And then you have that conversation like, you know, it is what it is. And then like a week later, they get mad at you for something that is an iota of what they did. Uh You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. they uh, they, they pull out a text message from three months ago. (laughs) Yeah. They're like, what? It, It actually had to do with this podcast, dude. Like I, 
this chick you talked it. about her no your ass even, on it i think you might be no. right with that alex Just, it didn't happen I, I talk about it now because i don't care because you she, ever have that conversation with women that, or sorry with the babes like hey i talk about my life on stage yes so whatever happens yes. between you and i I'm going to tell in front of 10 people. No, I do, though. T- I've had this with my current lady friend. I've had the conversation. She's like, you really are very open on your podcast. I'm like, yeah, but it's like, it's funny stuff. I don't do it just to be rude. I'm not like talking about a chick like, oh, she's a fucking bitch. Like, even what I just said, yeah. the chick, I'm like. Even though one of your drops is the worst luck. But I'm like, she's a little nutty, but she's a good person. But the reason she got mad at me is because when we were, I, I quotes dating because yeah. we weren't officially dating she showed up one day and was like i kind of like had sex with another guy and i was like well that's horrible so um we're never gonna be boyfriend and girlfriend so let's just you know keep yeah. doing this thing until it you know eventually we hate each other because that's you know what will happen yeah, yeah i didn't say it in those words i was you know more tactful well not a fucking idiot but then a week later i'm doing the pod and she comes back and it's like you said that this actress on the podcast was attractive i'm like yeah because she is it's actually this chick on my shirt for nice. a bulk from the craft i said for a bulk's hot who gives a fuck oh, and she's and- like you said she's hot i'm like you really fucked another guy last <laughs> week you dumb slut <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you bitching at me about Yo, I'm, then- Alex, I'm so stupid my first call i'd be like what do you mean by kind of <laughs> yeah, like, yeah what's uh <laughs> Was yeah, that like yeah. the third and a half? Oh days? no, I'm just saying that's how like that's how she like tried to be like. You know, I I sort of no. It's like you fucked. It, this is the thing too. It's like we're not dating. I don't. It's like I cared, but I it, we weren't dating, and I already knew this chick was a tad nutty. So I was like, oh, so we can write her off as uh, we're never going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Cause better to get. Yeah, to figure it out. Go ways before yeah. something happens. Yeah. And then it's also stopped. better to figure it out when, before Early you really on, like before someone. Before you get the yeah. yeah. It was, butter. dude, it was teetering, too. It was like, damn, you stupid bitch. But, you know, damn. I wish her well. She did eat your ass, so. <laughs> exactly. That so, would have been nice to keep around. It was around for a while. It's just, you know, shit fades, dude. dude Eventually, I, I, you I, say I, too many chicks are hot on your podcast <laughs> that you'll never meet ever because I do they're... Find, it works both ways, <laughs> both sexes. Like, yeah. if your partner gets angry... That you find somebody else attractive, yeah, just pointing it out, yeah, like that. It's just not gonna work. It's not out. gonna work. No, well, I've like I've been with, yeah. I've been with women and they're like, oh, that guy's super hot. Like, yeah, he yeah, is hot. Course, like, yeah, dude, he's got six pack abs. Late, I was hanging out. He's with my got lady perfect today. jawline. Like, I, David I Harbor. She David Harbor's in a new Santa Claus movie. He's okay. on. I was like, would you go see that? She's like, I'll see anything with David Harbor. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I didn't go like, oh, he's, he's hot he's and he hot. plays Santa Claus. Yeah, how does that work? <clears throat> what do you mean? Like I don't know who the actor is, but like Did he you plays see Stranger Santa Things. Claus? No, I've never seen Stranger Things. He's the fucking cop from Stranger Things. Okay. Anyway. So how's the fuck he play? The like, Santa's kind of ugly, like fat, or is it like a? So this guy can be. This guy has been deemed. He pulls like, it off. Yeah, he pulls off like the huskier. Um, Damn. You know, guy. He's, That's like the perfect. If you pull that off as a guy, yeah. the husky bear, but you're still yes. got it. Yep. That's the perfect look for a guy. Yeah, because like, I'm skinny. Like, we're both skinny. Yeah. So if I gain a little bit of weight, I get a little bit of a gross, beer belly, yeah. and it's not attractive. Yeah, you start looking like ET and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I I also like I can't. I my face balloons. So if I get too fat, I just my cheeks. I don't think I've ever seen you fat. You have. You just don't realize it. Winter time? Yeah. Or, no, you had. If I showed you pictures of me when okay. we first met, you'd be like, I didn't realize you looked like that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I, because I also didn't have facial hair. I get that double chin, the little, like, yeah. flabby chin. Yeah. Look at this. Two dudes just talking about our bodies. I know, dude. Very Too open bad this about isn't it. on video. It'd be much more <laughs> uh, appealing. To There'll be a, if you listen on YouTube, guys, or go to YouTube, there'll be a picture of us with the. Do you ever do video for this? We it's coming soon. It's coming. It's coming. I I vowed by episode one hundred. It's just I actually have to talk to my producer. We're gonna figure out how to do it. He does it for his podcast. So oh, you work. have an actual producer for this? Yeah. It, it yeah. I had I've had two. I had one. Both of them technically work for work for free, <laughs> so it is. They're both good. You, you, are they buried in the back? No. Okay. No, I don't kill people. Have you ever committed any crimes? Of course. Like violent no. crimes? No. I've tried to though. I've tried to like assault certain people. I don't really care about admitting to it because it's in the past. It didn't happen. Yeah, it's past the ten years. Yeah, it was like statue when I, of limitations. Yeah, well, it was like when I was selling weed. Like people would rob me, and we'd try to like track. Oh, them okay, down. that's try to track them down, and it never worked. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I also don't care anymore. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> I 
But yeah, I've done. Oh yeah, dude. I, 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 I forgot you used to sell. Yeah, weed. I sell weed, dude. I sell a lot of weed too. Like, is that how you start comedy? You just no. start going to mics and a lot of no, people dude. weed. It's that. Well, I guess it would be because I. I totally I, forgot about that. If I didn't get caught selling weed, I probably definitely would have never thought to do stand up because I wouldn't have been through so much. Do you that, remember uh, yeah. what's his name? Uh, Sean Hennessy. Yeah, of course. Shout out Sean Hennessy. He's probably Shout out Sean. He's probably one of the reasons to do this pod deep down. He's he's shown me how to. He sh- I remember him. He do he it at was the, the pickle first, stand. He was the first person who ever had me on a podcast. Shout out. To I, Sean I just Hennessey. bring his name up just because I remember he. He loves. He's had some run-ins crimes. with the law with with a few, drugs. Quite a few. And he's open about it, so I feel like he won't be very here. very open about. I miss it. him. Man. Where's he? Been I there? do too. He hits me up every once in a while. Cool man. Tell him to come to. A show. I do. He. I don't want to yeah, go into it, but about, yeah, but he's yeah. very, he's very like, I want to come, man. I just don't know if I should. And like, you know, for, for not even, he's, he's not afraid of bombing or being, you know, not being funny. He just, you know, Sean has, there should be more people who are afraid of that. They, uh, they, yeah. <laughs> Sean just has other things to deal I with. Get it, that, I get yeah. it. Well, hey, shout I, out Sean. I, I miss we you, love Sean. you. We hope, miss you, you. hope you come back soon. He's always a cool dude to be around. And he wouldn't take shit from anybody. Which he I really would. Well, yeah. I mean, he's he's lived a lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, dude. as a, a well, compliment. That's what's honestly I hate about stand up the most is how much bitch a lot of these people are who do stand up. Like as people, as human beings, they're really bitch made human beings. Just I just don't. That. I don't deal with them. I know. I know. It's just. Yeah. It, like I gotta be better at that at the hang. Yeah. The hang after. Like, you're good at that because you. I'm all right. You're really smoking up. So I mean, I am. I do. You know what? Uh, other comedians, shout out to me. You guys never give me <laughs> enough props for smoking you guys. I smoke everyone up at a fucking mic. So you smoke it's me. Insane. I don't even smoke That's really, true. and you smoke me up. I do. I do. I gi- I do a lot. <laughs> 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 I give back. The big three. Sorry. But well, before we get to is uh <laughs> before we get to big three, <laughs> what about Saw? Like, where is that in the? Oh, he's the newest. The, one. That's not he's under not big a big three. Well, the big, I say the those are the big three because they're the they're the original. That's like the Fast and Furious uh, yeah. slasher films because w- Saw. Yeah, I'd say under, like there's ten. Yeah, there's and they're coming lot. out with a new one. Um, that, that saw, I've only seen the original. Or it's maybe great. the first. The original two. is great, and so is the second one. Okay. I would argue the fourth one is also decent. All right, I'll take the, your word. But the reason saw saw is probably one of the longest running horror and most. They did one like every year for seven years. Yeah, I like remember they that. did a, it was they, every they year. they just put them out, and some of them trash. But as all in all, it's a pretty entertaining story i have to say it's some it's really gross some of it's it's torture porn at a lot of it but if well, you hey, yeah. i mean i might have to go rewatch them <laughs> if you like that story like he he's definitely one like saw the franchise and the villain john and the pig 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 face or whatever his name is they all hold strong for the horror like they're the it's probably like in, if i go to a horror convention i say hey yeah. i like saw i'm not gonna get laughed no at one the la- no people love saw dude and it's definitely the most that and final destination are the most um prolific of the okay. uh franchises that have come out in the 2000s i'd say it's definitely yeah. those you could say the conjuring or insidious but they don't have they're not they don't have that many sequels that yet conjuring might get me getting oh, final so. destiny is that's a video game too no it's not okay that's not final fantasy that's <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so i would put i'd put uh saw he's definitely that john and Pigface, the, the saw villain are definitely um huge horror movie protagonists but the big three i'd say are michael myers jason freddy and i think people relate to not relate but i think people sympathize with um Jason the most is because, like I said earlier, Michael's just a homicidal kid who grew up and started killing people. Uh-huh. Freddie's a pedophile. Hard, Jason, to, hard to relate yeah, to that. Jason is a uh, a drowned, retarded kid. <laughs> like that's literally but Jason went with the mask, <laughs> yeah, with yeah, the, the hockey mask? mask. Yeah, yeah, you know he's he's retarded. No, I didn't know that. He got he was disfigured as a child. He had like a big weird head and eye, and they threw him in the lake and he drowned. And then he, he, so what he didn't is really, it <laughs> with what? all these bad people? Did we start out with Mice and Man with Lenny getting oh, shot yeah. in the back of the <laughs> head? A, I was and trying to drowning <laughs> Jason just because, dude. It, it, can we just let you know troubled people live? Like what? If there is a theme to this, it's 
uh, mongoloids and pedophiles. That's, uh-huh. I, I like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking um but yeah i think that's why is because jason so they just drown him so jason they drown him and he came he comes back to life he yeah there's it's he, it goes from he died and then he came back Little John or he Snow never life. died and he crept into the woods and lived on his own and then he saw his mom get beheaded and that's why he started killing people i mean that's no reason to be killing people i know it's because you see your mom well he's retarded Oh. Well, that's, that's a good reason. <laughs> well, it can't be that retarded, right? Because like, if he's getting away with the murders, he always gets killed at the end. Oh, and then he comes back because dude, of the this re- would be such a better. Bad- it would be such a better podcast if I had watched these movies I and I knew what we were talking <laughs> about. <laughs> that that might have been. Honestly, this is like an hour you explain literature to me and horror <laughs> movies, and then we finally get with to an occasional like, tick comment for myself. <laughs> hey, that's. Dude, it's cr- dude. We're believe it or not, we've done it. We're we're basically at the end. We're like, we just have oh, to tap it in at this point. Oh shit, we've done like an hour. I know, dude. It went, dude. and this went better than I thought. Like, hey, dude, you dressed up for Halloween still? So I, I'm glad you brought that up. I wanted to bring that up, and I wasn't going to this year, and I don't think I still am, but I usually do. I don't think I am this year though. I just don't have. I don't really have the time. I sort of do for the costume I s- want to do, but it'll genuinely affect my appearance. I don't know if I want to do that. Like, so I'm, you have to cut your hair. I'd be cutting my hair, facial hair, or something yeah, like yeah. that. Oh yeah, the beard's looking good today. Thank by you. the way, thank looking you. Looking fresh. Thank you. That's right. You, you, you go barber for that uh-huh. to get that. Uh huh. You get trimmed. I shave it. I shave the edges sometimes, but other than that, mm-hmm. I don't. Again, this is another type of. If we had the video <laughs> where people could see your your facial hair, I know they'd love it. <laughs> no, um. I dress up for Halloween. Last year, I went as Waluigi. Oh, Fucking that's ruled. solid. It was. It. I, I bought everything. That's my Mario Kart. That's who I go. Go with. to me yeah. too, dude. You f- f- surpri- Him and War. I like Warrior. I like too. the bad guys. Yeah. Surprisingly, dude. I because he wears black um, overalls with suspenders. I went to every single clothing store in, like, I went to Walmart, Target, every single. I I ended up calling them at one point ahead of time because there are no overall black overalls with suspenders anywhere except for Mickey Finn's the Carhartt section of it it's not even Mickey Finn's it's like Mickey huh. Finn's and there's a Carhartt store attached to it in fucking was uh, that in the Berlin, Berlin, Turnpike? Berlin Turnpike I don't know what that is I, dude I had to find Carhartt suspenders black $117 Whoa. kept the tags on Brought it Smart. back the next day. I've done that for <laughs> <laughs> Insane. A- every guy listening to this has done that for a wedding. All right? Dude, like you, fucking You get the tie. You tuck it all in, uh-huh. tuck the tags away, and then go back and say mm-hmm. thanks. Every, every woman has, too. Yeah, dude. It, it was, Everyone's dude, returned to us. Worth it. It, it, it. I still have the pictures. Guys, go check my Instagram, Silly Sally. Last year, Halloween, I crushed it. What would you, was it like a party you went yeah, to? Yeah, yeah. It was Mike Massaro's party. Oh, Shout out to yeah, Mike yeah. Massaro, friend of the pod. Been on the most pod the most. Shout to him. He lo- he loves podcasts. He does, dude. He does. Yeah. Just as much as he loves dressing like Al Pacino in like any of his fucking roles. He dresses <laughs> like that in normal life. That's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's um, got the best best yeah. attire in all of comedy. I know. Not he just does. Connecticut at all. That's true. I yeah, I don't I don't want to give away who I'm gonna go for as this year if I do end up uh, going, I, I but understand. uh let it rock. I, I also I forgot I went one year, dude. I don't have a picture of it and it, it infuriates me. My friend deleted it. I don't know where the fuck it is. Is a picture of me as Raiden and I killed Ooh. him, dude. I looked like f- I, I had I was dressed in white I basically had a white karate outfit on yeah. and then I just found one of the rice patty hats. <laughs> <laughs> and I dude, I crushed it as Raiden. And I didn't yep. And Raiden is an elder guy. Did you do the so kill move or what do they call it? <laughs> the, the lightning thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept doing. I, I had a stance. I so who so was the sick. lady in that? Sonya Blade. Yeah, the guy, that. the lady who played Sonya Blade. You mean? No, no. But in the video game, that's who was Sonya my character. Blade, yeah, because she would do like a spinning move, and I would just trip people enough times where mm. they would lose all their energy. We talked about that last time. Like who? Me, Paris, and Mike Massaro talked about which of the Mortal Kombat chicks we'd crack out. Mm. I said oh. Milena just because it's you know. Out, it's weird. Mm-hmm. Now I'm thinking about it. it do Devora would be pretty cool. She's the bug chick. I like being weird. Actually, her sex, she'd kill you. I generally, I like darker skinned women, so I'd probably go with Milena. Oh, uh, yeah. Cause she, I just said you had to like stick a twig in her mouth or something. Oh, I thought you were talking about like intercourse. Well, her mouth is that like 
ch- you know, oh, the yeah, choppy yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So you'd have to worry. You you know. If her Tarakan DNA, in, mm-hmm. you know, triggered, she'd bite you. But if you had, like, a fucking, you know, thing in her mouth, she might just bite into that and sink sink her teeth through. Damn, man, that's, that's really off-putting. I know. <laughs> that's, I, think that's, I think that's what the people want to know and hear, though, too. I think we covered everything I want. Dude, that's, you know, I, I tell people this, too, and this is the key to a good podcast for me, but if we don't go to articles... What mm-hmm. do you usually do, like current event articles? Or? I do. Th- so uh, I only do them if I don't know what to talk about or if yeah. the conversation dies. And we've been going for an hour and that hasn't happened. So, do you should bring, uh, you ever, <laughs> you should bring that on dates with you. And a date goes bad. You're like, hey, let's pull up some articles. Pull up so you we guys want to talk what about Neil Patrick Harris. Dude, there. Dude, I hate that guy. Dude, he le- apparently. Uh, is he's that the getting... scientist guy? No, um, no. Dr. Horrible. No, I'm thinking guy. somebody else. Doogie Hauser, Neil Patrick Harris. No, I was thinking of the fat black guy who talks about space all the time. Oh, that's that's it's Neil deGrasse. Tyson. Yeah, I hate him. Neil Patrick is I see what you. Neil Patrick Harris. Not the personal. There's something about his. I don't like energy. dorks. Yeah, I don't like yeah. people who are dorky. I'm cool with dorks who are well, okay you know, with their extent. dorkdom. Yeah, and stay to themselves. But dude, I don't like um, when someone brings up like. Met- when you're like, oh, you know, it, 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 you say something like, oh, it's bright outside, you know, oh, look in the sky, the shooting star, and they're like, actually, that's just uh, space dust that floated off the stars. Would like, shut the fuck yeah, up, Yeah, like nerd. the stars where you see, actually, yeah. that's a star that doesn't exist. It's yeah, like, okay, shut the dude. fuck up, dork. Yeah, it's okay. I don't want to hear that shit. Like, I'm come trying, on, dude. Try, I'm trying we, to get pussy yeah, over here. Yeah, come on, man. You know we never landed on a moon. You know <laughs> we never landed. Like, it was floating. There's no exactly. gravity or there's no wind. Like, come on. You know that's... <laughs> You know that was done in Hollywood exactly. or Area 51. Another thing, the Jews. Oh, I, I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not kidding. going there. I love the Jews. I, I, I love too. the entertainment industry. Mm-hmm. Not that saying the <laughs> Not that they're together. connected. <laughs> <laughs> right? That Kanye really threw a wrench into our society, huh? <laughs> dude, dude, glad dude. I don't have any Yeezys. I didn't have the money for them. Dude, so. A fun fact. Never liked Kanye West. Never thought. I, I think his first few albums are fine. Like... Fine. Like I never owned them. It's no R. Like, Kelly. I'll tell you that. Not at all. The, the thing with Kanye, dude, is everyone, what was the first one? A high school uh, dropout? It's or? Gra- yeah, it's college dropout. Yeah, I, uh, I don't remember. I like the Yeezys. Oh. I don't have any. I like the way they look. But <clears throat> my thing um, with Kanye West, and I'm is, not even a Kim Kardashian. I don't even nah, think she's that. Nah, doesn't do it for me. My whole thing with uh, the younger one does it for me. Oh, the of one course. with her. Hell yeah, dude. Of age, Kendall. Damn sluts. Yeah. I think she's a billion. She has some big fashion line yeah. or something. Shout out to her. The um, the thing I didn't like about Kanye yeah, West. She, she's listening to this. Yep. Shout out to her, dude. <laughs> Kanye West thing growing up. Um, anyone who started listening to Kanye West <laughs> thought they were way cooler than they were. Almost at, across. I feel the board. that way with like Kid Cudi. Anyone who listened to Kid mm. Cudi thought they were cooler than. I I'd say, and I like Kid Cudi. Me too. Okay, all right. I was about to say because I like Kid Cudi. I just thought people listening to Kid Cudi were like, he raps about emotions, man. <laughs> that shit. I was like, yeah, but that's he just. I liked his sound. I didn't care for the emotion. I, I shit. don't listen to lyrics. I yeah. just listen to the beat. Anyway. Basic, Shout out to Kid basic Cuddy. white guy. Yeah, he's also he cries a lot. He really Kid does. So, yeah, I like so, him as an actor. You ever watch yeah, uh, How to Make like, It in America? No, I've never seen that. There's like a, an HBO series about oh. two guys try to start a gene company. No, I never seen it. And like he's like kind of like a just a hipster drug dealer kind of oh. cool guy. Knows how to get him in all the parties in New York. Nope, and never I thought, seen I thought his acting was really great in it. Uh, I like uh, our references are like totally yeah, hey, ten years old. I don't know how we made this. No, it's just everything you know. I don't know. Oh, I know it's, you, dude. Don't this know. is honestly this is going great, bro. Everyone, everyone, once they see that you're the guest, dude, this is all they want. Oh yeah, they're happy. Oh, Trust yeah. me, they would have been happy, just as happy too, with the other guests involved. But the fact that this is actually a thing, they're going to be happy. Well, Trust listen, me. it was raining out. You know, it's it's hard to leave your house when it it's, is, dude. When it's drizzling. Out. Yeah, you know, they don't like the water. These blacks. Anyway, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, was there going to be a black guest? There oh, was. I, I, there wasn't was gonna, I wasn't going to come if it was. <laughs> You know, I got a no. Nah, I good. got an image to uphold in this community. <laughs> Not at all, man. Um, and my employer listens to this. I was just all joking. Oh no, we have. Joking. I have. I don't know if 
you, you've listened, but I have a warning before. Yeah, yeah, Someone said, like, oh, you think that saves you? I'm like, I don't think it saves me. I just think it literally, like, <laughs> if you if I, if I you listen to... if you, There's the name of the podcast, and then in the beginning, there's a whole warning. There's a warning in the description. Like, yeah, I think, I think, I'm, I think I'm okay. That's why South Park never gets in trouble. <laughs> Those... And we are both, our, all three of us, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, Alex Tomaselli, artists. You got anything to plug? <laughs> I we'll just can't it. believe you put your name in with those two. And- I know. I'm joking. I but one day, dude. <laughs> if I can make. Do you draw? No, I can't. No, I don't. That's do that. shocking to me that really? you don't. This I someone th- who's in as much like animated cartoons. Yeah, I never thought what I drew was good, and I also. I got bored with. I get bored drawing. Like I really think I'm yeah. not that good of a drawer. I've seen people. That, it, whenever you ever met someone who's really good at drawing and they just draw. I'm jealous. Like, yeah, you're yeah. like, what the fuck? Like I don't even want to. I remember I was on the subway at a seven line, and there was a guy next to me, our lady, and she just had like a one of those drawing notebooks. Yeah. She was so. I just added like, hey, can I take a picture of that? She's like, yeah, go ahead. And I didn't want to just take it without her permission. Right, right. It was of just course. like. Amazing. Yeah, dude. Some people do that shit just you know, sitting uh, there. Too. Dan Cowboy, he's a good. Flower. I believe it. I've seen some of his doodles. I, hey. I do not have doodling ability. No, I, I dude, I, I, I drew when I was younger for fun, but then it would take me so fucking long to do one thing, and then I'd be like, this, is, like I, oh, I did at one point in my life think like, yeah. oh, I should do comic books. And I was like, you look into what you have to do, and I'm like, I can't draw yeah, that. Yeah, I've looked at like the YouTube videos and how to, to draw a face with the eyes and make yeah, it all, yeah. and I'm like, even that I can't. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. That's that's probably what we'll call right, it. So you what? want you want to go to one of those painting and wine classes? We'll learn how to. As if there's, you know what, dude? If there's a bunch of damn sluts, I'd go, I'd go. Right. That's it. But I'm nice. kind of you know, kind of tied down right now. So yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll you take get that Halloween costume. You gotta. I do. Gotta hide those blood stains on the mattress. <laughs> yeah, I do have a Dahmer esque mattress. Well, we never did get to the top three, but maybe I did. Maybe next time. I was saying. Oh, I was saying. How would you rank? Oh, well, I like Jason the most now in my life just because I have a respect. Oh, so he evolved? Yeah, I used to really like uh, Michael Myers. I get that. And then, over, yeah, because he just I, he, I, yeah. he gets down to the business. He's very to the point. Jason can, you know, he has some fun, you know. He, Sadistic. Yeah, uh, exactly. And I never, and Freddie was cool, but I he eventually, once you find out the pedophile thing, you're like, I can't, I can't associate with this. That reminds me of... <laughs> I'm just thinking Reservoir Dogs, mm. where like before he cuts off the ear and by, he's just playing the music and great scene. Yeah. What? What's what? Oh, what, that's you think about Freddy Krueger. Jason, like kind of oh. like taking his time. Oh yeah, yeah. I just like Jason. Just like I said, he's he's sympathetic. It's like oh, this guy's you know monstrous tard. He's coming back at all the pretty people for killing him. It's kind kind of badass. I like him. He he becomes the hero of the oh. movies. That's why I like him. I, I, I never liked the heroes. <laughs> <laughs> I always root for the bad he guy. He also got killed by Corey Feldman. So, oh. yeah. At least well, one time. R.I.P. to that, Jason. Yeah. Anyway, that's where we're going to call it. Today. <laughs> 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 That'll be it. Uh, you got, but, um, Brian, what do you, what's your social media? Do you got any uh, shows no, coming up? Uh, Instagram, Brian Glass Comic. I think that's my Twitter, too. I have a show. I... Uh, November 12th at the Elbow Room, which is in West Haven. I think that's like a 7 or 8 o'clock show. Uh, hit me up. I'll get you tickets if you want them. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. What, what shows? What's, what's, uh, what's, is what's that the, the Elbow Room? What's the date? Uh, November 12th. I believe it. Is that a Friday? Is that Friday, November? Oh, uh, that's, a, that's a Saturday, actually. Sorry. Okay. Well, yeah. It's, nice. It, it's... You, it's sometime in November. I'll be <laughs> right, guys, go follow Brian Glass. He's the man. And if anyone listening is listening, you know he's the man. Um, guys, I'll be uh, if this is up either. <laughs> it should be up by the time I'm saying it. But I'll be at the gathering this Thursday down in Stanford with Manny Sierra, Anthony Vega, Chris Sierra. That'll be fun. And then next week, also be. Oh, where are you at in Stanford? Uh, the Gathering, that's oh, okay. what it's called. Cool. And then next week, I'll be in New York City. Uh, Tuesday, I'll be at Gold Sounds Bar. Um, then after that, I'll be up in Mass. Thursday at Luther's Co-op with Matt Woodland. Uh, the week after that, November 9th, I will be in 
uh, UConn doing a show, and November 26th, back at Powder Hollow Brewery, guys, doing a fucking show there, and uh, still have to iron out all those details, but the lineup will be released soon, and uh, appreciate you guys coming out, because the last one sold out, the one before that sold out, really appreciate Anyone coming out to those means a lot. Also, guys, follow me at Silly Selly on Instagram. Uh, follow the podcast at Yes Offense Podcast on Instagram. And uh, uh, write, rate, and review on iTunes if you don't mind. Subscribe on YouTube. And do whatever you can on Spotify. I don't know what you can do there. But that's where a lot of you listen. So please just do something there. And uh, if any of you, anyone listening is like, oh, this kid's funny. and Some of these other comics are funny. Hit me up. And if you want us to do a show anywhere, literally anywhere, your your house, your backyard, your fucking VFW hall down the street, Love literally, the VFW yeah, hall. we'll literally come Love do it, dude. The VFW hall, please. And by the way, I was a big fan of Robbie the Fire. Oh, Bernstein, he's the man, dude. big fan. Of his. He's gonna be on the pod again soon. Cool, he's the man. He, well, was, at, he was at the show this past week. He was. Love Robbie the Fire, dude. He's honestly like helped me so much. It's insane. I appreciate him a lot. Love the Jews. Hell Love. yeah, we're big fans over here. <laughs> Real talk. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, if, uh, seriously, if anyone has any gigs for me, please fucking reach out. I'm fucking. Likewise, likewise. <sighs> anyway, um, that's it, guys. It's always fun. This uh, again. Yeah, thanks did, for having did me. Did not this expect it to be a single one, and and uh, it worked out great, dude. I'm better one on one. I liked it. Anyway, guys, see you, nerds. <laughs>